Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. If this is your first time here and you like what you see, why don't you consider subscribing? Um, and if you know what a vole is, could you tell me? Because I have voles in my yard and I don't know what a vole is. What is that? Like a rat? Like a chipmunk rat? I don't know. Anyway, I have these tobacco baskets that I got from... Um, Michael's, I don't know, I'm like, where, where did I get these from? They were $12.99, they were 75% off, so they were like $3.25 maybe. Um, they had three, I bought three. Didn't know what I was going to do with them. But I'm going to make a little fall hanging thing. This, yeah, this pumpkin had a bad spot on it, I was trying to see where it was. This is a pumpkin from Dollar Tree. And I kind of wanted like that. But I'm going to do it like this because I like these dark colors. And this one is broken right here. So I don't want to be able to cover that up. So, um, this is the bad spot. So that goes there. Let me take this off. Whenever you're using these like foam pumpkins, especially these from Dollar Tree, don't pull this out because you can rip the foam. So I just cut it as close as I can and just kind of push it in and hope for the best. How big this is? Um, no. But these are bigger than the ones from Walmart and dinner. They're not as robust as the ones from Walmart. So I want this kind of like this. So when it's hanging, you know, I don't want it like straight down. I want to kind of back some. I think the best way for me to do that is to get some glue going here. Put that right there. I'm just going to try to wire this some. Um, we'll see what happens. Just pipe cleaners. Dipping them in my glue skillet, which is just a frying pan filled with hot glue. That's it. People always ask me, and I'm like, it's a frying pan filled with hot glue. Don't go buy a fancy glue skillet. I don't have a fancy glue skillet. It is terrible. And if you're looking for one, go to thrift stores Goodwill first, and then if not, order one online because it's like, I think it was like $12 or something. like here. I'm just going to lift this up and try to. This is what I always find difficult is trying to position something. Like hold something in place and position it at the same time. Let's see, I'll be able to obviously I don't want it like that. Yeah, I kind of like that because I'll be able to stick some glue underneath there in a couple of spots and secure it some more. I don't want it like that. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, I think what I would like Here. 
going to put another another little attachment point down there so I can pull it forward. let that cool for a second while we talk about floral choices. Um, this is going to be another one where I just kind of like throw everything at it. I want to use pink, um, but I'm going to be using it with some regular fall colors. These are from Joann's. My lady from Joann's. I have some willow. Uh, I was worried what those were going to be called and whether or not YouTube was going to be like inappropriate. Um, Willow. I have some zinnias and like this fall color over here. I have some pumpkins. I have some, I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah. So we're just going to do what we got to do to get this done, you know? going to be gluing stuff behind this like all my florals are going to come out from behind so it should get more secure I think I want to start with I'm going to start with this I think it's supposed to, this is supposed to be like a seeded eucalyptus Joann's. I got it last year after fall. Oh. Probably before fall because they were they were trying to get rid of trying to get rid of fall and then Christmas never came. Oh, last year was crazy, huh? With Michael's being like, sorry, we don't have Halloween and if you want Christmas, you have to come back in April. on the back, but it is what it is. I'm just going to do this and we can have a little chit chat, catch up. I have been very chatty in my videos recently just because I try to get them done because as soon as I get them done, as soon as I can turn the ad back on. It is the eighth, the eighth, the tenth of August, maybe. Um, I thought it was going somewhere with that, but it's been like a month and a couple of days since, you know, about five weeks since my dad died. And I found, you know, it was when I when I film videos. They're on my SD card on my camera. The SD card gets emptied onto my computer. And then those files are edited into the files that are eventually uploaded to YouTube. Um, and at the, at the end of every month, I go through and delete all the big files. Because these files on the camera are huge. You know, they're like 
30, 40 gigabytes, and the ones that get uploaded are like, you know, 2 and 3 gigabytes. So, I noticed, I was like, I don't have any space on my computer, what's going on? And then I realized I haven't uh, deleted videos in forever. So I was doing that this morning, and there's a video from May, maybe, of... I called my dad to talk to him about something with my sister, and I recorded the conversation so I could play it back for my other sister, because, you know, I haven't talked to him in so long, and I didn't listen to it, but I was like, oh, I forgot that I did that. And, like, I have the last conversation I ever had with him recorded. Which is weird. Just a second, I did not delete that video. I was going to, and then I said, nope, I'm, I might want to listen to that one day. I don't know, uh, but I might one day. These are from Joanne's, too. These are, like, these foam flowers. I should have bought, like, probably 35 packs of these because I have used them for everything. But that's where we're at. I moved the camera so you guys could see better. I like where the camera's at because the video quality is, like, so much better, but it doesn't always allow me to get, like, the best angles. This is the, this is the same the same stems I'm always complaining about because well this one's actually not too freaking green fuzz? I don't even know what that is. know what it is. My eye was, is that cool? Can I peel this off? My eye was bothering me the other day and I kept telling my mom, I'm like, oh, I got something in my eye. I got something in my eye. I think I talked about this on Patreon. Um, I was like, I got something in my eye. I got something in my eye. And like, I kept trying to get it out, like washing it out, using drops, whatever, and nothing was really working. And then Sunday, my pressure was really high. I have glaucoma, because of course I do. Um, I want this here. I can pull this down, but I want this here. Maybe? Or no, I want it there. Okay. Um, my eye was really bothering me. And it has gotten worse and better. Like, I'm on about, like, my fifth drop. Trying to... My fifth different kind of drop. Like, I was using Roto Drops because those are the ones I always have. Because if I don't use Roto Drops as soon as I wake up, I don't wake up. Um, because my eyes are so sensitive and I just, like, can't keep them open. I'm going to stick this over here because this looks like there's a little bit over here. And then this is over here and then that's in the middle. So I'm going to stick this, like, over here. This is just one piece. So it's from Roto Drops to Sustain to Sustain Ultra, and now I'm like straight up on an ointment. So I can't see it out of an eye, but what I can see is like Vaseline, if that makes sense. And I called and got an appointment for, you know, like three weeks from now. Because well, why not? Okay, the back is not looking too, too bad. I think we'll be able to clean that up when we go, as we go. Okay, so that's what we're looking like right now. I don't want to put anything here because 
the whole point of using the basket is to see the basket. Well, I guess I could have made one like this, huh? Well, I have two more. I kind of want to go to Michael's today, but... Oh, sorry, at the same time, I hate that idea. But the kids are back in school, and it's just like, I want to go out and live my life. This is Walmart Willow. Which I feel like I could definitely make this crazy with this, but you know, making crazy stuff isn't always what we're setting out to do. Up here, maybe? Let's try one first. See, so yeah, eyeballs popping out of my head. Cornea scratched. Um, oh, and so I, I, I don't I don't know if this is what's going on. I don't know what's going on. 90% of the time I have no idea what's going on. And then somebody comes up to me and they say, hey, Adam, this is what's going on. I'm like, oh, okay. But I looked outside the other day. This was yesterday. I looked outside and I was like, is that like a bunch of dry? Because I cut my grass the other day. My neighbor came and weeded my yard for some reason and just left a bunch of crap in the middle of the yard. Um, and I was looking out by my fence next to my shed and I was like, is that, um, is that, like, dried, like a, like, like a pile of dried grass? Because it was, like, you know, light brown, big pile of it, and I was like, I don't know what that is. So then, um, I was outside later with my mom and the dog, and, like, you know, we were looking at my pepper plants, because my pepper plants, my pepper plants are covered in ants, and I'm like, well, ants aren't hurting anything. What are they doing? So I look up, like, ants on pepper plants, and the ants are apparently there. They don't hurt the plant, but they protect the aphids who are secreting some kind of delicious, sweet butt milk uh, that the ants eat. So I was like, well, that's disgusting. So I look, and of course, they're covered with aphids. So I was trying to deal with that, and then I looked over, and I was like, what is all that dirt over there? So it's not grass, it's dirt. And I go and look, and there's, like, a four inch thick pile of dirt in a hole. And I was like, what the hell is that? And my mom says, oh, there's one over here too. So I go in my actual garden and there is a big pile of dirt with a hole. So I can't figure out what it is. Everything that I've looked at and, you know, all the pictures I've compared, it looks like a vole. I don't know what that is. It's like a kangaroo rat. I don't know. It's something. Are these spring stones? Well, they're fall now, baby. Um, it's like, it's, it's, I thought, I was like, oh God, please don't let this be a rat thing. Um, but like, I don't, it was so much dirt, y'all. I don't think a rat could like kick up that much. I don't think we have gophers. I don't think we have like, whatever else lives, it burrows underground like that. And of course, like, I, I see it, and then all day afterwards, I'm like, oh, no, I don't know. Like, I'd be fine if I went out there and I was like, oh, it's a crawfish hole, because I know what crawfish holes look like. This, I don't know what it is. And I just, I'm just like, I don't want it to be a rat. I really, really don't want it to be a rat. But it seems like it was a big hole for a rat, and it was a lot of dirt, like, just like, if you took, like, a shovel, it was, like, three shovels full. And not that, a not that I'm doubting that rats are very capable creatures, but... I don't know. So, I came inside, my mom left, I took a nap, and I got up, and I was like, I'm gonna I'm I'm cover those holes up. So I went up there and dug all the dirt back into the holes, and then put bricks on top of them. So, either... Whatever was in there, if it was in there, died in the ground or dug up somewhere else. But I went and looked this morning, and 
they weren't open back up and I didn't see any new ones, so. I think, I think it's okay. Oh God, how many, how many, how many uh, rodents am I gonna have to murder this year? All right, so these are the zinnias. I love these. I'm so glad I bought like five packs of them, five bushes of them. I just think they're such a pretty color. Especially the dark with the, like, the medium and the light. You know, like, I, I like all kind of colors. Like, light colors, dark colors, medium colors. I don't want these leaves, though, because they look cheap. Somebody on um, Instagram or Facebook or something, they were like, what do you think about the non-traditional colors for fall? Or like pink for fall or pink for Halloween? I think whether they're talking about like pink for Halloween. And like, my thought process is, does it matter? I mean, if I want to make pink for fall, I'm going to do pink for fall. That's just what it's going to be. If I, if I want to do red for Halloween, that's what it's going to be. I think you can make any color combination work, even if it's not red and green for orange, because uh, red and green for Christmas, because I very rarely do that, unless it's like the red, green, black, and, you know, it's like red, lime, green, black, and white. Like, I never do, like, Christmas red and Christmas green. Um, I don't think it really matters. I mean, if you're... The thing is, like, mm, the thing is, this doesn't want to go anywhere, because it's a little joke. The thing is, if you are making something to sell, you are under some kind of pressure from you, the market. Like, would I like to make a bunch of crazy, insane, over-the-top, giant... oddly color schemed Christmas wreaths or do I want to make like you know purple for fall or whatever yeah like I, I want to I don't want to do so, like I don't want to do something that looks like you could go into Michael's and buy it off the shelf or god forbid Walmart and buy it off the shelf I want to do things that are unique and different because like doing the same thing that has always been done Y'all, talk about, like, a creativity killer. Like, I don't want that. I want to I wanna do something different. But the thing with doing something different is... Is what you think looks good going to be what sells? I, I cannot put this anywhere I want it. Um, and that's just something you have to keep in mind if you're running a business. Now, if you're making something for yourself, you do whatever the hell you want. Because you're the one that's got to keep it, you know? I'm going to hope that grabs onto something. Like, everything I've ever made for my house. Which, y'all know I don't, I don't really decorate um, outside my house because I don't want people to think that I want them to come and hang out with me. Anything I've ever made for my house has not been something that I probably would have made to sell. So if you're like, hey, can I do that for Halloween? Do whatever you want. If you're trying to sell it, do whatever you want, but remember that what you think is I guess what I'm saying is like your your personal taste might not translate. Okay, that grabbed onto nothing, of course. So let's try that again. This time, let's make sure it grabs on to something. Uh -oh. I think I'd like 
to bring one up here. Not that one. This one, the white one, right? No, I don't think I do. It's like my goal in life to one day, well, not really, because I don't want to make race any, I don't want to do this anymore, but I'm still doing it. Um, my goal is to, like, be one of those wreath makers who makes, like, the, what I consider to be, like, the god-awfulest thing ever, and it immediately sells. Like, oh, you're doing fall? With zebra? Okay. Which, like, whatever. That's a pejorative. Um... I like that right there. But I know if I did that, it would never... I mean, I could do the most basic wreath that everybody wants, and it still wouldn't sell for some reason. But that, that's me. Like a wreath that suited everybody. It was perfect for every decor. And I could charge $5 for it, and nobody, still nobody would buy it. But you know, I, say, I know what I say. Hate the game, not the player. Are you even attached? No, you're not even attached to anything. This is the problem with these baskets. Like, you put something in there and you're like, yeah, it's making contact with something, and then you're like, no, it absolutely is not. So let's make sure that that gets something on it. And I'll bend that up once it's actually kind of settled. Okay, now I want to throw in some of these. Ooh, which ones though? They're so different. This is like the Devil Wears Prada Cerulean Belt thing. This goes with this better. Which of course makes me think I should use the one that doesn't go. other orange pumpkins over there that I'm going to probably put in here. So let's do these. These are just on those little spring clips, but first of all, they fall off almost immediately. So you don't need to keep them all on. But if you wanted to put these somewhere where you couldn't get any glue, which is like every spot on here, you could just kind of come in here and clip them in. going to glue these in. So you definitely want one right here because there's like a hole. So I can, uh, yeah, that's how I, 
I want the glue. I want this uh, clip to butt up against the edge. Like that. And I'm gonna have to hold that for a second because I'm like forcing it to be where it probably doesn't want to be. Like me, every time somebody invites me to one of their children's birthdays party birthday parties, I'm just like, I don't wanna be here. What are you doing? Did I agree to be this child's grandpa godparent? I don't I don't remember that. That doesn't seem like something I would do. Like, I feel like this one is out of place, but I also feel like two is not the right, it's not the appropriate number. But where do we put the other one if not there? This one can now come forward a little bit. This needs to go behind here, I think. Yeah, it's really like that. I think I want to get something in here. And I have these, these are from a dried look hydrangea bunch. And the leaves are like not terrible. So I'm just gonna pick a couple to bring some more of the green. And, and like normally like this, I'm gonna throw away because I'm not gonna use this for, am I? No, I'm not gonna use that for anything. But like when it's a nice leaf like that, I'll try to keep it for a little while at least. Because maybe it just needs something like that, you know? Michael's today or like Hobby Lobby? I don't want to go to Hobby Lobby because that's a far drive, but I don't know, maybe Michael's, maybe. Probably not. I just want to do something. I'm tired of like being in the house and not doing stuff. See, there's, I don't know if you guys see right there, that's not going to work for me. Can that go there? No. But I feel like since this one's sitting up, that one can kind of go in the back. Just tuck back there to fill in that space a little bit. I mean, you don't have to fill in every space, but when it's something... Come on. When it's something like that, we do want to kind of get something in there. Okay, so we can still see plenty of them. I'll show it to y'all in a second. I'm just looking in. right here see this this is a lot of that this is a lot of that is this why y'all pay me so good
little bit of final fluffage. And maybe one more leaf of green. My only problem is that this, right there, yeah, I just ripped that off of it. that. I had most of this stuff, so, like, I don't know. The only thing I, I bought new was the pumpkin and was the pumpkin and the basket and I think the willow. And I bought the willow for something else, so. And I still have two pieces of it left. Yeah, I like that. I like this side better than that side. I might have to I don't know if I need to like cut something out or what if I want to cut that out? And then I have to put something else there. We'll see. I'll live with it for a little bit. I usually have to hang them up and then look at it. So yeah. I am going to go do something. I'm going to turn the air on and then I'm going to do something. I don't know what that something is, but yeah. I'm going to throw some pictures up. Thank you guys for watching. If you feel like I have earned your subscription, please click subscribe and, you know, then you'll know what happens with the voles. I like that. That's pretty. Non-traditional, but still not like out of the box crazy zebra print. Alright guys, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications, links are down below, and I will see you guys later. Bye.